This is the one that was up on the uh, Mount Lanyanya, right? Climbing boots! What's up, dudes and dudes to the internet? My name's Anthony. We are back here with more Zelda Breath of the Wild. How y'all doing today, folks? Hope you're doing fantastic and wonderful. Hope this video makes your day even better. We have got a lot to cover today. I've been busy, dude. Like, so super duper busy messing around off camera. Uh, kind of just hanging around in the areas that I've already explored. Just kind of a rule for my own uh, a rule of thumb that I always do uh, in regards to open world Let's Plays is pretty much any of the areas that I end up exploring on camera with all of you for the first time, then I am allowed and have free reign to go and explore at my leisure. Now we've got a bunch of shrines, and as you can see, all the little leaf icons are Karoks that I haven't actually gotten footage of, uh, because I, you know, I've been playing Zelda with the Switch, uh, kind of on the handheld uh, version for a little while now, uh, and with it, I obviously can't record while I'm carrying the controller around, so I kind of just marked all of these for later, and we're going to be tracking down uh, a lot of these kind of over time, not necessarily all in today's episode, because I've only got eight markers left that I can put down uh, on my map. Uh, <laughs> and it's getting pretty crazy, dude. So I wanted to kind of give a quick recap of some of the bigger things. This is our house. Uh, we ended up actually buying this a couple episodes ago, as far as I remember. It's, it's been a couple days since I ended up actually recording, sorry to say. But I fully maxed it out. And as you can see, it's actually got a proper full interior now. Uh, I put the bow racks over here. This is the bow from the mighty Lionel that we fought. Then we've got a golden royal bow and a strong Lizolfo bow. Then we've got each of the elemental weapons, uh, each of the elemental two-handed swords, I should say. And this one right here, you remember a, a couple episodes back or a while ago now, uh, when we ended up finding the labyrinth in the top right? Well, in that episode, we also ended up finding this fire sword, and yeah, I, I've been farming it every blood moon. Then I ended up putting the Lionel's shield here because I thought it's so cool, I don't want it to just end up breaking. Uh, this is just a random radiant shield, I think. It's not like a special, uh, not like the special Gerudo one. I might end up replacing that. Uh, and then I ended up finding this, which is kind of like a royal Hyrulean guard shield as well. It's the first of its kind that I've ever seen. Very, very cool. Uh, but I may end up actually putting this one on storage because it's the ancient shield. This one... Though, it, like, it's really, really tiny. Honestly speaking, I don't really like this shield as much as some of the other energy-based ones. Like, even this one is just, like, cooler and feels bigger. Uh, this one definitely feels more powerful because it's got some physicality to it. But that one we had to buy with ancient cores, right? Uh, I guess there's a couple quests that we can actually get done in this area today as well. Uh, was there any new weapons? Oh, yeah, I got a Mighty Lionel Spear. Because you remember the Lionel way, way back in the jungle area, kind of at the peak of the mountain there? Yeah, that normal Lionel was actually replaced by one of those mighty zebra-styled ones. And uh, he ended up actually dropping this bow, which is another one of those mighty Lionel bows. It's a little bit different, however. Uh, Savage Lionel bow, Savage Lionel bow, that's right. I got two of them because I fought two of these idiots. Or is that still the other one from before? Probably. No, it isn't, because I have that one in storage. Uh, I grabbed us another ancient bow as well. That's the one that we end up getting from uh, the H ancient Akala Tech Lab or whatever. I was going to say Hateno, but we're in the Hateno house. And just generally speaking, I've just been super duper busy exploring and wandering around and everything like that. Which one of you kids is the idiot that actually has me use the Traveler Sword? That, isn't that a Traveler Sword? You remember our promise? Let me see it. Yep, here you go. I want to get this stupid Traveler Sword out of my inventory because seriously, dude, I've been carrying it for such a long time waiting to see this little kid. Gramps will fill, uh, Gramps will flip when he hears I saw this. Thank you, take this as a token of my thanks. This was a quest that we got a very long time ago where when he dies, he wants to tell his grandpa about these weapons that he saw while he lived. I know, it's adorable and heartwarming. Um, he always said, give it to the one who can show you the real deal, so don't worry about it. Okay, it's just 20 rupees. Next weapon I want to see is... Uh, yes, that one, that one. What? Have you heard of a fire rod? I think I have one of those right now, don't I? I think? If you find it, please let me see. I think I have one right now, dude. Huh? Oh, 
isn't that a fire right? Yeah. I mean, this quest, technically speaking, I guess was supposed to have been super duper easy because we were supposed to have had all this stuff a long time ago. These are just kind of starting weapons. It's not really anything that impressive. Not nearly as impressive as the ancient robotic armor we're rocking. Also, the barbarian armor is one of the only suits that I don't have fully uh, upgraded to two, I'll say, uh, from the Greater Fairy because it actually costs Lionel Horns. And farming those guys is... It's, it's difficult. Got it! Have you seen a Moblin Club? Really? A Moblin Club? I mean, I see those like all the time. Do I have one right now? I don't think I do. If you find a Moblin Club, please let me know. Okay. Well, anyways, that's cool because that at least means that I can start using this stupid blade. If not throwing it away. Uh, then there was also another crazy lady over here. Not you. Not you, you psychopath. I re-dyed a couple of our uh, suits, by the way. This ancient armor, I don't actually like re-dyeing it. Because right now, you see the bodysuit underneath. How it's kind of pitch black, if not a really, really dark shade of blue. Yeah, anything that we would dye with this armor only changes the underlayer bodysuit. And honestly speaking, not many of the colors, I think, fit with uh, the rest of the body armor. Hello. Good day! Why do you sound like a goblin? You're a traveler, aren't you? Then listen up, what is it? Okay. You see those three trees at the top of the snowy mountain there? Yep. Actually, I, I did actually find all those three trees. Uh, because she, uh, the quest that she has is when the tree summits, blah, blah, blah. We gotta go all the way to the right of them so that you look in the direction of the trees and they all look like one. And then you go in the other direction. I, I only know about this quest because uh, I had Scarlet uh, when she was visiting. She ended up actually starting this quest and kind of messing around with it. But as far as I know, like I kind of went in that direction. Now I can finally get rid of some of these stupid star icons. I, I went in that direction myself off camera. And then look at this. I ended up actually finding a shrine that was secretly buried in the wall. So I think that's what that actually, like, I, I think that's what her quest actually was for, right? Which would make sense. Yeah, secret. It's complete. So we found the shrine. That was it. <laughs> uh, then there's another dude somewhere around here as well. Again, these are starting quests. We were supposed to have gotten these such a long time ago. Uh, but there's a farmer dude. Are you the one? I think I may have actually already talked to him. Yeah, he. I, I talked to this guy off camera already about the Spring of Wisdom because he was actually giving us the quest for the Spring of Wisdom, which we already ended up doing quite recently as well. Then there was also... Is that a quest? Yeah, that's right, because there was a dude up here that we needed to talk to as well. So let me just climb up the cliff here and see see what we can see. Oh, also, if I can remember, I might actually make a video at some point kind of uh, what you don't think you could do in Zelda because I, I, I've actually been scaling up waterfalls like that. It's really time consuming and tedious, but it's just been a whole lot of fun messing with the mechanics. Uh, I've also really, really been enjoying uh, using the stealth suit and just kind of trying to sneak my way through like an enemy encampment without being spotted and stuff. Uh, but then also, if we end up actually coming across that today, otherwise I'll mention in another episode when we do see one. But you know those big, tall spires? Like, it's kind of like one long, tall block of wood that you can climb up the ladder and there's a platform on top of it. Uh, they have them in towns, but generally you can't do anything with them in towns. However, the ones that are in enemy encampments, you can actually chop those down or just hit them with a bomb and have the whole tower, like, just fall apart. And it's really, really funny when they there's an enemy on top of it, so pretty cool. I also tried to, it didn't seem to work, uh, but I tried using Magnesis to pull a metal weapon out of an enemy's hand. It, it didn't end up working. So this guy randomly ended up having a quest near as I can tell. Good day, stranger. Are you some kind of wanderer? Hmm, interesting. This could work out. You look handy with a bow. Mind helping me? What do you need? Woohoo! I had a lucky feeling you were the answer to my prayers. There's something about hunt some deer out in rest some rat, rat, rat forest. Okay. You can actually ride the deer as well. Hopefully I'll get that on camera eventually. Um... They're okay, you know, they're, it's pretty cool, but man, it takes a while. They're overpopulated these days and it's destroying the forest. Whoa, this guy's deep and really understands what's going on. Um, try and kill all the deer you can in one minute. Okay, can you do that right away? Is there a trick to this? No, I'll just do it. What a trooper, I'm counting on you. 
Is he just gonna teleport us there? Is this a weird archery challenge? That's so, like, barbaric and weird, but okay, I'll take it. Uh, about that deer hunting. No time like the present, right? It's raining, dude. Go get started, and I'll call you once a minute is up. Three, two, one. Why are we on a time limit? Let's activate. Go! Okay. I don't understand. Wait, we should also, while we're in here, put on our stealth suit so that they don't always detect us. Those are wild boar. Those are not deer. Why did he say it's, like, overpopulated when clearly it's not? Hey, game! Come here, you! Hey! Stand still! Stand still, you stupid deer! Like, seriously, what's your problem? Did I end up actually hitting that one? Yeah, I think we did. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my! Well, you know what? We'll hit that one at least. Uh, then there's also another one way over there. I should actually be using the bow, uh, the other bow, the ancient bow, a little more. Because then we would be able to actually hit more targets uh, from further away. I should also be sneaking, but I'm actually having a really hard time, like, seeing these guys and detecting them because of this disgusting rain. Is that gonna hit him good? Get wrecked, you stupid monster. Like, seriously, this is kind of cruel considering the very, very, very happy music that he's got playing. Okay, so we got six of them. Is that good enough to get whatever you're best reward is? Oh, this guy's a monster. You're downright vicious with that bow, Wanderer. Here's a reward for you. Okay. We got five bucks. I mean, that's not even gonna pay for the arrows I lost. The thing with these deer, though, we really have to get their numbers under control. Any one- what? Hey, Wanderer, can I ask you to go again? Okay. Why is he asking us to do it again? About the deer hunting, no time like the present. Do it when a minute's up. Okay. I don't really understand, but you know what? Let's just, uh, swap over to this bow and let's try and snipe most of these fools that we can, right? Yeah. I can barely see that one that's behind the trees. Then there's also another one kind of hanging out up there. Then there's also one up there, which I'm not going to be able to hit him because he's long gone. Probably because, was he behind us? Most likely. Uh, there we go. I mean, we're not even, like, I'm not even doing as hot as I was the, the first time. Um, I wish there was a much easier way of actually detecting these freaks. I don't know what these wild boar are doing here other than just getting in the way. Where, where's the other ones? That's just a wild boar again. No, really, where's, like, I need more than six of them if we're going to actually, like, break our old record. We've got ten seconds left, and I don't see any more of them. There we go. Uh, get out of the way, please, stupid. There you go. So we've got seven. Oh, and there was our eighth one. I don't know whether or not, like, how many of these are we supposed to get for his best prize? Or is it just rupees? Probably just because it's a starting quest, in which case, we're getting out of here. Oh, okay, so seven must be good because he's all stunned and stuff. You're better than I ever dreamed. Here's a reward for you. Oh, that still doesn't pay for the arrows. We really have to get their numbers under control. I was wondering if I could ask you to go again. Shut up! No, you can't ask me to go again. Like, seriously, that's not worth it in any way, shape, or form. Oh, as we end up getting up to the uh, Hateno Tech Lab, le let me show you this. Because I've ran in to so many of these, and I didn't know what we were supposed to actually do with it. So I finally looked online to figure this out. I, I think one of you uh, actually gave me a comment a while ago actually talking about this, but anytime you see like a big group of trees or something like that, that looks too suspicious, like this kind of just does, uh, most of all, it's whenever you see like a row of three. So this might not even actually be anything, but uh, you gotta actually match up the fruit in the trees. So you can see we've got two on the bottom branch, one on the top, Two on the bottom branch, one on the top. Two on the bottom branch, one on the top. And then this one, we've got two on the bottom branch, one on the top again. It, are all of these just the exact same? Two on the bottom branch and one on the top. Is there any extra fruit on any of these? Or are these all just kind of the exact same and that's all there is to it? Yeah, I don't know. This might secretly be a Karoke, unless it's supposed to be that this is the odd tree out because it's the only one that's actually facing an opposite direction. In which case, I'm going to attack it anyways. I, d I don't understand. Okay, maybe this one... Bad example. Bad example. Maybe this one is not one of the Karokes. 
Maybe it secretly is at the same time, but I'm just going to unmark it because I, I may end up looking up later, like where all the Kuroks are and stuff. But otherwise, yeah, if you ever end up seeing like three trees in a row or something like to that effect, that usually means that it's a Kurok and you have to match up how much fruit or whatever is on one tree with all of the others. Oh, and while I mentioned before about dyeing stuff, yeah, I kind of changed a lot of our clothes. This is actually our uh, garb for the cold, which I thought was more appropriate to actually have it as a blue garb or uh, tunic, I guess. Ooh, so that's pretty cool. This is the one that was up on the uh, Mount Lanyanya, right? Climbing boots. Okay, well, we got the full climbing set. That's awesome. These rock climbing boots have special no-slip toes that help you cling to walls, hopefully in the rain. This ancient technology uh, facilitates more nimble climbing. Okay, awesome. That's cool. I didn't know that that was randomly going to be it. That's great. That was one of the better shrines that we've come into for quite some time, like seriously. Uh, another thing too, I do want to mention this kind of in passing because I've definitely thought about doing like live streams of this game. The big reason why I can't is because first of all, where I actually am as far as recording is concerned is quite a ways further than what you're actually seeing today, right? And because of that, I don't want to break the fourth wall and do a live stream where everyone would just be confused where I actually am at. Uh, but then on top of it, another thing that I would like to do is either go for all of the Kuroks during a live stream, but as you can see, we only have 12 markers left out of 100. I can't mark enough of them like, I wish you could just have infinite markers on the map, or a thousand, or something like that. Like, it shouldn't take that much resources for this game to actually carry them over, because otherwise, I would love to get all of the Kurok seeds that I have marked uh, in a live stream. Another option that I thought about, but I'm not going to end up doing, was that I would specifically save a biome... Uh, maybe even like a whole divine beast section or something, for exclusive live streaming only? But that's not going to happen. What I'm actually planning to do is whenever the hard mode DLC comes out, I'm guessing that I'm going to have to start a new file rather than actually being able to select hard mode within the series, right? So what I'm planning on doing with that is probably going to end up live streaming that. Like, the, the whole hard mode is probably going to be like a live stream series or something, you know? Anyways, uh, next time I climb up this mountain, I'll make a cut, because otherwise I just wanted to go and get this stupid thing out of the way. Hopefully we are actually going fast enough uh, to get over to this stupid thing, because otherwise we're half of our timer done, and the wind is not on our back. Oh my goodness gracious, how is this going to end up working? Like, we might not even have... Nope. We don't even have enough time to actually do this. We would have to perfectly glide on top of it and then drop down into it. That's stupid. We've ran into a couple of those and I don't like them one bit. The reason why we would have to keep our altitude like the entire time is because right now we're moving forward at a pretty steady pace, but as soon as we put our paraglider away, we're still moving forward. We're just not moving forward much, like at all. I'm pretty sure, yeah, here it is up over here. Let me actually pull out a better weapon to deal with these stupid bats. Spears are always the ones that I would recommend because the keys, uh-uh, especially these electric idiots. Gotta try and take them out as quickly as possible. Uh, but up over here, there was a very, very obvious little Kuroke kind of hidden behind a little rock. So I just gotta stasis this. Then there's a rock underneath and that's gonna end up being a Kuroke. That little guy ends up throwing us up to 49 Kuroke seeds. So it's about time that I ended up making my way back over to the Lost Woods to expand our inventory. Uh, another thing too is Patch patches for this game is something that I don't really get to talk about that much. Uh, quite a few of them, a lot of you have actually let me know these tips and stuff in the comments. And I want to just kind of talk about that now briefly just to say that 
I know about these tips, okay? I know that you used to be able to uh, get infinite arrows with a wooden shield and have like enemies beside you and stuff like that. Pretty much the trick was you would hold out your wooden shield, enemies would shoot arrows into it, you'd put down your wooden shield and then you would end up getting all the arrows. Now, sometimes it still seems to work, which is weird, but I think the solution that they came up with is the enemies can only shoot up to a certain amount of arrows. I don't want to get that Karok seed at all. Why am I heading back for it? Well, I guess we may as well try it. Let, let's see. Maybe I can do it now. Oh, that was close. Oh, that was a close one. So rip me for saying that we had to drop all at once. That puts us at 50 seeds. Because what am I thinking? Technically speaking, we're covering the same distance if we keep holding up and drop down and then glide some more. It's not like it ends up slowing our process in any way, shape, or form, right? So, whoo! That was, uh, that was a tight one. Anyways, let's go up over to this one. So I got warped to the spring again. Oh, we also have our full second ring of sprinting, if it wasn't obvious enough. But yeah, it, it, it's like... There's all these exploits that people keep trying to talk about and take advantage of and stuff and I, I'm not like against using exploits or anything like that but when it comes to my particular style of gaming like it's like it depends on the game like if the grind is too much then of course I would end up taking advantage of exploits. But when it's stuff like this, like this game, I'm thoroughly enjoying and wanting to actually play it the legit way, right? Now this one, I don't know how we're actually supposed to do this because we don't have an updraft underneath us uh, to actually get up to there. So maybe what they want us to do is climb to the top of that tree, which is another thing uh, that I actually think I forgot to mention today. Uh, unless I did mention that earlier, but uh, pine trees, you can actually climb up to the top of them, very similar to like Mario 64. So it's pretty cool. And come to think of it, this might be the only time where we actually need to do this. Because otherwise, let's climb to the tip top right here. Hopefully we've got enough stamina. There we go. You climb up here, you hang out for a little while, and you can get all your stamina back, which is really, really handy and cool. Uh, uh. Okay, so that's how we legit were supposed to end up doing that. Cool. Because I ended up seeing that guy when we were uh, unlocking the Spring of Wisdom up here. Or is that the Spring of Courage? Spring of Wisdom, that's right. As we were coming up here, I ended up seeing that, and I was wondering, like, how do you actually get the altitude to go back up to that and I kept thinking oh well obviously you must have to set the ground on fire or something which it's a cold climate so good luck with that uh, but yeah so as far as all of these patches are concerned and stuff you know they've been actually refining the game kind of making the game a little bit more legit and honestly speaking outside of the insane difficulty of the learning curve of this game and how you just get wrecked by all the monsters and stuff like that I love the challenge I love it. Like seriously, this is one of my favorite all-time games uh, like that I've ever played. Okay, so here's a prime example of these three trees, but I'm gonna take care of these idiots first. Also, a hilarious animation is if you end up carrying a skull and you uh, throw it, he actually boots it. <laughs> so I love that, dude. Like booting it off the cliff, that's so good. Oh, okay, there goes all of our resources. Let me see if I can figure this out. Obviously the tree on the right has way more fruit than any of the other ones. So we gotta have the one that's just at the top spot right there. And that's it, just the one that's up at the top middle right there. And then never mind any of the other spots. Okay, I can do that. So we just jump up to grab these ones. Hey, hey. Gotta be careful and make sure that I actually grab the right ones because I don't want to grab that other one. Is that it? Is that it? Wh which spot is the one that we need? We need the lower fruit, not the one that's high up there. There we go, we can just do that to shoot it off, and there you go! So we actually got a Kuroke. There's so many of these dudes that I've seen. So many three trees where I had no idea what I was supposed to end up doing. And now finally it's like, oh, okay. Oh, we got our arrow back too. That's nice. Good. Oh, another really, really funny but cruel thing you can do is if you end up putting ice where a fish is, <laughs> you can um, have him come onto the land like this. Also, I had a tip show up in the uh, loading screen that was saying you can actually drop certain foods uh, and the fish will actually be lured to it. So it's kind of like fish bait, right? Man, this place is really windy. I'm hoping that this is going to be a high enough uh, jump. Like, can, can we just jump off of one of these little ice things to end up getting this Karok? 
Yeah, we can. Okay, cool. So that makes those guys insanely easy because you don't actually have to lunge off uh, of like a huge uh, giant cliffside or anything, right? And anyways, my camera ended up cutting out because we're at like half an hour as far as the recording session is concerned, right? Whoopsie daisy. Well, I kind of messed that one up. Oh, look, it's some of the guts of the skeleton that we ended up killing a while like two seconds ago up on the cliffside right that little freak puts us up to 54 but more importantly than that i can get rid of the stupid like markers that i have all over the place because geez louise get over here you delicious hyrule bass oh man now i want fish and it's it's we, we're not dealing with any mountains or cold climates anymore so i can swap over to this i gotta upgrade that uh Oh, we got to upgrade that climbing suit, hopefully today, because then we'll get to see what the special set bonus is going to be for it, if it's even going to be a set bonus. Uh, also, the big, fat, stupid greater fairy was all like, yo, dude, can you find my other two sisters? So I guess you can upgrade your armor four times. Now, if somebody knows, please let me know in the comments, but you can upgrade your armor twice to get a uh, set bonus. Do you have to upgrade it to level four to get another set bonus on certain pieces of gear? Of course. And if the if that's the case, please don't tell me what the set bonuses are, but I would still just appreciate to know, like, is that actually a thing? Where is this? Oh my gosh. Are these, okay. This is not really that, this is kind of, kind of weird. Blip, blip, blip. This is pretty much what I do uh, when I'm messing around off camera. It's just kind of, wander around and grab all these little things, right? So now you kind of get to see firsthand what actually goes into all of this. There's also a random, another one of these stupid taluses here, so we may as well kill him while we're here because, hey, it's, it's been a while since we actually fought one of these guys on camera, right? Okay, so what I usually just end up doing is this, okay? He climbs like such an idiot on these guys sometimes, dude, really, it's so annoying. Uh, and this spear should just be enough to actually take this guy out using the stasis like so long as you use the stasis properly You can usually get these weaker ones anyways down in one like whole combo like that, right? Oh, and another thing too that I found out as I've been experimenting with things Let's just keep talking about it, right? Uh, is that when you're fighting guardians? I generally find it to be a lot better to use guardian weapons against guardians rather than uh the master sword because the master sword for example okay i'm gonna warp over to this tower the master sword even with its 60 damage against guardians and it's it's good don't get me wrong but when you're fighting guardians like say the big walking skeleton ones you actually chop off their legs in one hit with an ancient weapon as opposed to two hits with the master sword so I, that's kind of the thing that I've really been enjoying about this game is I'm starting to get the hang of a little bit of the meta game. I, I wouldn't really say that I'm like an expert by any means, you know, I just kind of like experimenting with stuff like that. Like I've been having a really good time, like I said earlier, using this ninja suit. It actually might be my favorite suit in the game. Uh, looks wise, I love the ancient armor, but this suit for functionality is just great because during the night you're moving a lot faster uh, but then also on top of that sneaking has been so fun in this game dude most of all just because I'm getting used to the stealth mechanics which are pretty pretty deep actually okay we just gave that guy another uh, random beetle this is kind of another thing that I end up doing off camera uh, I ended up discovering a while ago that as you end up warping to all of the different stables oh I already bought all this stuff before the blood moon we're sitting on 264 arrows because I had have to farm those as well right oh I should have done the rest of this cricket quest while we were in Hateno village well hopefully we can uh, hopefully we can have time for that today but anyways uh, usually you can actually warp from stable to stable and even though it's the same merchant each time you actually see this guy at the different stables He's gonna restock a lot of his stuff and actually sell different bugs and stuff. I can give you directions You also for some reason seem to have a quest uh, What they're wild so till you calm them It's gonna be one crazy ride, but there's no feeling quite like taming a wild stallion trust me I took second place in the Hyrule horse taming competition. What? 
There's a horse taming competition? Hey, I saw that look oh. you gave me. Fine. You don't believe me? Let's go, pal. You and me right here, right now. What? You want to challenge the second place Hyrule horse taming competition winner to a tame off? You got it. Uh, okay. That's the spirit. <laughs> really? It wasn't that enthused. Bring a wild horse back to this spot within the time limit. Okay. This area is chock full of wild horses. Any one of them will do. Uh, my record is two minutes flat, so you need to bring a horse oh. back. Ooh, is this guy going to end up giving us a different, um, uh, like, is he going to end up actually giving us some type of horse uh, accessory or something? That would be pretty neat. But don't worry, dude. This is going to be super duper easy, like, seriously. All right, there you go. I already got this stupid horse, which he was super duper easy. Okay, I actually see that his time limit is... A little bit crazier than you would think. Most of all, you stupid horse, stop it! Stop it, you dumb wild thing! Oh, never mind, the timer's counting down. I thought we were, like, a lot uh, closer to it. Hello! Oh, we just had to go near him rather than talk to him. I can't believe you beat my two man- yeah, with- I mean, seriously, dude, I didn't even take a man to do it. Uh, to be fair, it was just my brother and I competing. <laughs> oh. Y anyways, here, you earned it. 50 rupees. I, I, okay, I guess there's more competition out there than I knew. Maybe Hyrule isn't something after all. I don't know what he's talking about, but whatever. Anyways, let's just... Can I, can I get to the marker and turn that thing off? Let's also... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, right up over here was a shrine and another stable that we didn't end up getting uh, on camera. I also want to mention, too, that we are still trying to head over to the Zora's Domain, but for today, oh man, I needed to stop and actually start collecting some of the Kurok seeds and stuff like that and get some of this stuff done today because I don't know where we're going to be on time uh, for today's episode, but I'm, I'm sitting here recording at about 40 minutes. Okay, that guy's actually trying to use a torch to fight. Like, that's just, what an idiot. Okay, where where's the quest er character that's over here? I know there was one somewhere. It might even be that idiot overtraining, because one thing that I don't particularly care for about this game is that, like, quest characters themselves don't always have a marker on top of them. Sometimes quests will only end up showing up at certain times, so you might actually only find one at night. But, uh, literal play all day long, but I have to stay here and give directions. Directions? Yeah, Chapter 4, Article 9 of the Stable Association Regulation states, Each stable must have personal, uh, personnel ready to give directions to visitors at all times. And somehow I got stuck with this dumb job instead of playing with my brothers. I guess that's what I get for being the only person in, at the wetland stable with a grasp of geography. Okay, um, anyways, what's to the east? I already know. What's to the west? Because that's a new area, Mr. Perspective Hyrule Castle. Uh, there's a hidden escape route from Hyrule Castle called East Passage. I hear it leads directly into the castle. It was made for old royal family, though, so who knows if it's still usable. Oh my, thank you for that one, kid. What's to the north, then? I thought that was... That's Death Mountain and some other junk. I like this kid. Okay, what's to the east, then? Just because Zora's Domain. That's about it. All right, next. That's it. I want to know what's south of here. Yeah, sure. Me too, but I never get to leave this stable. <laughs> you should go ask at the Riverside Stable. Okay, how about you? Do you have a quest? Ha <laughs> Are you some kind of wonder or something like that? Oh, no. I don't care who you are. Just lend me an ear. All right. I finally got my hands on the legendary weapon. Amazing. What legendary weapon? Prepare to be jealous. I'm sure you've heard of it. You know the legendary weapon that only the chosen hero can wield? It's called the Master Torch. No, it isn't. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called anyways. Whatever. Leave me be, commoner. I'm trying to practice here. Okay, that's actually hilarious. Like, seriously, that's really, really good. They say the castle was destroyed a hundred years ago. Somehow it looks even more majestic in ruins. Okay, that's kind of mean and weird. Ah, we meet again. Are you out traveling as well? I've traveled all over the world, so I'm happy to tell you about new places if you want. Uh, show me a picture. Check out my album. He tells you about the memories that are nearby. So we've got... Okay, I don't know where that is. That forest, I got the feeling I've seen it before. I can't say for certain, but I believe this may depict a forest just south of here. No, wait. Maybe it's a forest on the other side of the river northwest of Bottomless Swamp. Bottomless Swamp? 
There's a swamp? Where's Shrek? I went on a stroll around there recently and I feel like I have been I've seen a view like that. It must be in the swamp. Like it has to be. Because otherwise, uh yeah. He the the swamp is the only area where he actually like named it, you know? But anyways, let's get this shrine done and then I guess we'll have to call it a day because uh, again, sitting on 45 minutes as far as the recording session is concerned. Oh ho ho, shields from water. Okay, I mean this obviously looks like it's just exactly what I think it is, which is using the ice ability that we just did like crazy to get through here. This is so cool, dude. This area looks like the water temple, doesn't it? Like seriously, that, that looks so neat. Oh man, that's so great and awesome. Okay, you die, you stupid idiot. What is that? Is that a metal chest? It had better be a metal chest. Oh no, it doesn't have to be a metal chest at all because blah, 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 blah. We can just end up doing that, right? Yeah. Dude, this is so neat. It's, it, this might actually be the first, like, there's been another dungeon where, ooh, ancient core, I could use that. There's been another dungeon where it was kind of water themed, but not like this. Oh, whoopsie daisy, we can't climb on those. We can't climb while we're inside a shrine. We have to use like uh, the ice or something else, right? Okay, so let's just do that. There we go. Jump link. There you go. Woo. Um, I don't know, like, are they actually wanting us to fight these guys like the legit way where we would actually, like it says I shield from water, right? Oh. So we would end up using, oh, wait a minute. Ah, oh, I'm being crushed. No, no link. Can you swim against it? You idiot swim against the current swim against the current swim against the current man You stupid moron. Oh, dude Seriously, okay good whoo Good because otherwise I thought we were gonna f like fall off the other ledge and have to repeat this entire place uh, in order to actually just get over here and get the treasure. I mean, I know I was panicking a little bit too much about that, but <laughs> I didn't want to have to redo it because any anytime I end up going into these spots, it means that I got to make more cuts in the video, right? Okay, let's just do this. And then, oh, okay, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. What is this going to actually be? <gasps> a royal broadsword. Ooh, is that new? No, that's just one of those one-handed ones. That's what I thought. I wasn't sure whether or not it was going to end up being like a, a two-handed weapon. Oh my, this camera is amazing. I love it. Okay, let's just do this then. And then I think that, that was all the treasures, right? Yep, that was all the treasure chests. Okay, goody goody gumdrops. So you know what? We're gonna call it here and I'm gonna grab this. Thank you so much for watching, folks. Very much appreciate it. Don't forget to like, share, favorite, and subscribe for more daily content. We'll be heading to the Zora's Domain in the next episode because, you know, I, I kind of want to have these farming episodes few and far between. But, hey, whatever. We'll see what ends up happening. Sign on, stay epic though, everybody.